Namaste. Welcome. Today's lesson is breath meditation. But before I teach you the technique, let me discuss the principles behind the topic. Our breath is a rising energy. So as we inspire or inhale the energy which is within the breath, we could feel it rise from the base of our spine to the tops of the neck and even the brain inside if we use our internal awareness. All right, two things, the aphromatic breathing and belly to spine breathing. Right. The aphromatic breathing, there's a huge difference between bulging the belly and inflating the abdominal cavity. At a glance, they may seem similar, but if we use our awareness and then breathing through it, following the principle of rising breath, it is entirely different. All right. Now try to just breathe in and then allow the sensation to push downwards. Thus, the belly bulges forward. And then exhale. Don't worry about the exhale. The exhalation will have a similar effect. Breathing in. Push down and open the tummy forward. And exhale. So as you exhale, the belly hugs. Breathing in. Bulge it. Exhale. So keep the realizations inside you. Now, try to reverse the, the pattern inside the mind. Still, yeah, initiating the breath to stop from the base of the spine, a little bit below the belly button. But instead of pushing the sensation downwards, lift it up. And exhale. So the exhalation will give us a similar effect. The belly goes hollow and deep. But instead of bulging the tummy forward, lift your awareness. Exhale. One more. Right away, you can feel the difference. Right. But just changing the pattern of the mind, you know, everything changes. Right. So the first technique of like pushing the sensation down to the belly so we can allow it to inflate or to bulge is heavy. It's actually counterproductive. Yeah. It's heavy for the luba. Right. Whereas the second pattern, we still initiate the breath to come from the lower regions of our body, but it's rising. The abdominal cavity still opens, but not as bulging and not as heavy. All right. And the distribution of the expansion is even, not just the front. You can feel the size of the trunk lengthen, and even the backs of the uh, body broadens. Yeah. So as the breath, as the sensation rises, yeah, the belly inside still opens to make room for the rest of the sensation to rise. Later on, we will discuss the upper regions. Right. Now, if we try to utilize the external musculature as well as the superficial muscles of the abdominal region, so when we inhale, deliberately pull the lower belly in. You may use the hand to do that. And then breathe in and use the pattern of the rising breath. And exhale. All right. Draw the lower belly in and up as you inspire. And exhale. The exhalation will have the same effect. It goes even flat and hollow and thin, and then inhale again. And exhale. All right. So comparing the two, yeah, the sensation is the same. The breath is rising. All right. But the difference is the second pattern where we engage really the muscles of the abdominal walls yeah, to Aid as in lifting the energy yeah, 
it is even more powerful when it comes to yeah, alerting the spine, lifting the spine, and then hugging our spine. But it is not contracting, it's not squeezing. So which pattern is the right pattern? Both are correct, depending on the element at hand. For example, if you're just breathing through your meditation, you don't want to be engaging too much of the abdominal muscles yeah? because you just want to keep your spine open and tall. Yeah? Because that's the only requirement, so you can just allow the mind to relax as we breathe. All right. But for example, if you want to um, utilize more the external muscles, even the internal muscles of the abdominal region, then we use the forceful way or a more dynamic way of hugging a belly to spine. What are these elements? Weight bearing position, predominantly asanas, especially the deep ones, the hip openers, back bends, where you wanted to maximize the length of your spine from the base of the spine, so you engage the, the muscles to keep the lower regions of the spine supported. Uh, see how the position, inversions definitely, as well as some um, internal cleansing which involves the physical, Agnesar Kriya, Udhyana Bandha Kriya, and some uh, breathing regulation which requires us to um, keep the, the lower regions of our spine uh, secured and firm you know, as we do the technique, for example, breath retention, some Kumbhakasa, and they require us to really suck the belly in. All right. So both patterns are correct depending on the element at hand. But yeah, when we breathe through the tummy, yeah, I have to be very clear, we don't push it downwards. Yeah, we don't bulge it, we don't force it downwards. Yeah, it's counterproductive when it comes to channeling the energy. Because one of our goals here is to lift our awareness of the energy. And the apana value, which is predominantly outward and downward flow, we want to reverse the pattern by lifting it up. Yeah. Uh, for um, the, the energy to uh, rise to the upper regions of our energetic system. Not just in meditation, even when you do your normal breath patterns. It's a healthy way of breathing. It will give us the sensation that the breath is rising. Right. So that it takes care of the lower region. Now here. So when you breathe through the thoracic region, this one, but initiate the breath, you know, follow the first pattern, and then keep breathing in, uh, it's easy, you know, because this is the main channel of our respiration. You know, so the chest expand, the lungs open, all right, and a spine rise taller. You know, whether the belly to spine breathing or the gentle one, you know, sensation rises up. Yeah, the chest, the lungs, the rib cage, they expand. Not just the front, but also the side and also to the backs. Alright, so if you keep breathing through it from the base of the spine, now you can feel this rise, yeah, the collar bones lift up. And you feel the shoulders just relax. And there's a light involuntary movement of the head forwards. Yeah. To make room yeah, for the spine of our body to open. Yeah, as we lift our awareness of breath out. But you don't force the chest forward. Yeah, it's more of the weight of the body is actually shifting lightly to the back. So you can feel the, the sitting bones. If you're sitting cross leg, Even if you're sitting on the chair. Even if you're standing. So you don't want to be forcing it. Rather, think about the long vertical line from the hips to the space between the two bottom ribs, the collarbones, and the hollow of the throat. And exhale. All right. So it's easy, this one, to manage because generally, normally, the lungs, which is open, expand. The rest of our thoracic region will open to make room for the breath to fill uh, our lungs. Yeah. Now here. Now, how can we now lift the sensation? Because the energy, it becomes a sensation. Yeah? It's not the air, really. Yeah? Definitely we can't lift the air inside the brain. Right? 
but we can live the sensation. So if you lightly breathe through it, yeah, from the base, and then lightly clip the throat, and then hold it a bit. As you clip the throat, alert the, the right and the left hemispheres of the brain, and then lightly pull the backs of the jaw to the backs of, you know, Neck. Like you're forming that gentle smile. Now, can you feel the energy actually, the sensation, yeah, rises up? You can feel it here, and you can feel it here. Alright. So, our lesson will revolve around it that principle, that the breath is rising and we can lift it all the way up to enter the inner brain. Alright, so sitting up tall, this is called the Prana Mudra or the Shanti Mudra, yeah, Shanti means peace, yeah, so it's good to have that spiritual um, essence of the lesson. Sitting up to, yeah. and then just allow the breath to rise. See, so feel it rise inside, and there's a light folding of the belly region, but the sensation is expanding. Up to the chest, feel it open and expand. Up to the collarbones, the hollow of the throat, and then hold one or two seconds. Exhale. Right, do that one more time. Breathing in. Breathing out. Right. Now, next time you exhale, at the bottom of the exhalation, like it's about to finish, lightly, now don't squeeze, lightly clip your anal region, like a gentle pause. But don't clench it, don't squeeze it. Maybe one or two seconds. Exhale with tension. And as you inhale, loosen the hips and draw the sensation. And at the top of that inhalation, lightly clip the throat. So you're going to feel the collarbone slightly alert. Again, two seconds. You can go longer later on. As you become comfortable with the technique. And as you exhale, loosen it, allow the throat to open. And let the belly and the rest of our body go really empty. And then you're gonna feel the end of the breath stops where it starts. And then you clip. And as you inhale, Relax the hips and allow it to rise. At the top of the inhalation, lightly close the throat. The backs of the jaw pulls back. And then lift your awareness higher up, right and left hemispheres of the brain. The sinuses, the bridge of the nose, up to the frontal regions of the forehead. And exhale. Right, so this is a basic technique, but for initial learning that is deep already. All right, now we're gonna use the hands now. So from the base of our spine, hips, yeah, breathing in, let the belly rise, let the chest expand, keep rising the hands, up to the collarbones, clip, and then open, retain, and as you gather your hands back to the throat region, start to exhale. And then back to the head, slowly down, like we're exhaling from the top to bottom. Pause, clench a bit the inner region, and then rise. Keep breathing in. Clip and open the arms, palm facing up. Three, 
two, one. Clap. Exhale as the hands fall. Loosen the throat. Relax the chest. Empty the belly. And the base of our hips. Close again. Retain. One, two. Soften the hips and then rise in breath. On the top of that, a light clip of the throat. Lift the awareness up. Lightly loosen the throat. Start to exhale. Yeah, you can feel the ribs close. The belly goes hollow and deep. The lower regions of the belly goes even deep. Retain. Open and rise. Come back. Let's do it one more. Like an act of offering. Palms up. Exhale. Back to your bodies. And after the practice, just sit still, allowing the breath to rise. And we lightly blink the eyes open after the practice. So that's beautiful. Yeah, not just in promoting a healthy you know, breath pattern, but also to create more of that inward awareness. Yeah? The mind is so powerful. By utilizing the mind to assist us in our physical element, our breathing elements, yeah, it makes the practice holistic, more meaningful, long-lasting, and really spiritual. Yeah, something which brings about the beauty of our nature, and not just the body, not just the breath. Something that comes from here. Yeah. Hope you enjoyed that one. See you next time. Have a lovely meditation. Namaste.